My father-in-law was living in a high-rise facility, a senior facility, and we found out that they had three cases of COVID. And Jerry has diabetes and he's 74 years old, and we felt like we needed to get him out immediately. The thing I moved in there for was congregate dining and the other activities, and those things were shut down. I am glad they had the protocols. I think it kept him alive, but he was completely isolated. We decided to have him move in with us. If we could restructure our home so he could live here comfortably, I think we knew that that would be the best thing because who knew what was gonna happen in the future. He moved in June of 2020 to our home. He was able to live in our family room temporarily, which was supposed to be temporary until March, but because of COVID, the uh, building process took much longer. I felt bad for Tora because I took over her family room, you know. I didn't know what I was gonna do because I loved the family room. That's what I would use all the time. It was very fun though having him there because then he would eat with us every night. We could talk to him. I really liked him being there. And our house, it's not necessarily designed to accommodate seniors. To take a shower, I had to go upstairs. I could do it, but it was harder. As we started thinking about remodeling our home, I was talking to a friend of mine, I'm like, where should we put the addition? And she said, you have that, a big garage in the back. Why don't you tear that down and put a, a, a garage apartment there? Our garage roof needed repair. We had a carport that was falling apart, so this was something that actually needed to be done anyway. I looked into the city planning codes and I looked into what the ADUs were and because there had been some that had been built. And they were charming, they were cute, and I thought this would be an amazing way to give him a place to live with us, but yet it wouldn't be on our home. He would have his own separate space. My husband um, is gifted with um, design and, and he went to school for architecture, so he kind of jumped in into like the very practical part of it, of like, what's it gonna look like? How should it be laid out? The initial design that I made was far too large. So then we had to come back and modify that design to make it smaller because of the zoning restrictions. Really having the ADU policy in place um, made it much easier because once you could prove that your plan was within the parameters, they, they, just, they, they said go ahead and build it, which was wonderful. Honestly, I didn't even like process that it was really gonna happen at first because it seemed like this crazy idea that you could build a house out of where our garage was. But I think like once the garage got torn down and they started building the base of everything, it was like, wow, this is actually happening. The ADU works so well because we've got everything on that one level for him, but he does have a second level if he chooses to use it. So there is the design element, but then there is also the practical element of making sure that everything was accessible. The builder that we hired is my, my dad's age. And so he would say things that I hadn't thought of, and that was really helpful. That's what is so unique about ADUs, is you have the opportunity to build a home that will work for you as you age in place. So the doors are wide enough for a wheelchair if he would need one. The flooring that we used is kind of a slip resistant flooring, which helps for him. And it's just, it's a very safe unit and easy for him to get around in. One thing I did want was the walk-in tub, because my arthritis, that's one thing I really wanted. It's nice to be able to have my space and my bathroom and and the shower too. We chose tiles that weren't shiny and slick. We made sure that they were more, you know, had a little bit of an edge to it. So, you know, you could walk on it with bare feet and not worry about slipping if it was a wet floor. We put a washer and dryer in his bathroom and it's wonderful. But those are things that you want to talk through and, and figure out. We also purposely chose a smaller refrigerator. He didn't need a massive refrigerator. So that gave him some more space for his table and chairs. Also, we made sure when we hired the company that put in the blinds that they're really easy to use for his hands. I don't have to walk a long ways to get to my car or into a parking lot, I can just step out the door and there's my car in the garage. As long as I can continue to drive, it's nice to be able to have that close. My favorite part of it is selfish because I like the way it looks and how we designed it. And as far as I know, I think the neighbors are happy about that as well. This pandemic really, really hit hard on getting uh, products and services done. So you had to be patient. So fortunately I was here and I could watch it. It's really nice that he's here. I can look out and, and see if his lights are on, if he's doing his regular routine. I can text him if he needs something. I really felt like it, uh, it wasn't as intrusive as I was worried about it being. That was, that was comfort to me. If we ever wanna come over here, Grandpa's always so welcoming. It's a wonderful 
experience for the children to learn from my dad, get his perspective, talk through complicated topics. I appreciate him always challenging me on the things that I think because I think that when we surround ourselves with people that agree with us, we oftentimes kind of just make a little box of, oh, everyone thinks this way, and that's not the reality. So I love showing him like new things that he's never seen before. Uh, this thing called roadblock, I don't understand it, but the kids just get into this automation and stuff, and uh, it's fun to watch her do that. And uh, of all the places I've lived since I've turned 65, this is by far the best. Having family around means a lot. And I think that's the thing that the ADU allows you to do.